Right, Sage, well, obviously not an, an easy fight for you out there tonight. It was a tough one. How did you feel about your performance in there? Oh, I felt, I felt like I did uh, pretty good. I would have liked to do more, obviously. I'm going to go back and improve any mistakes I made and uh, make myself better. I was glad I was able to stop uh, when he got the takedowns, able to stop any kind of strikes or submissions he could do. So uh, he never even worked off my legs. Didn't get one punch on the ground, didn't get one elbow, didn't get one knee. I stopped all that. Uh, would have liked to get up faster off the ground, but I'm going to improve that for sure. Talk about the scoring. I know you haven't had a chance, obviously, to go back and watch, but I mean, as the fight was playing out, did you, how did you think the rounds were going? Did you think you had done enough to, to win? Yes, I felt like I did enough to win. And uh, you know what? I know they changed the rules recently before. Uh, the takedowns were huge, but if you're not getting anything off the takedown, you're just holding the guy, you're not creating any damage, then that's a big part of it, too. So uh, I was doing more of the damage even on the ground. Even though I was, had my back against the fence a few times, I was cracking down with elbows and some punches and uh, hammer fists and the whole, whole nine yards. So definitely would improve all of it for sure. But I was going to say, I mean, so you feel like it's, the scoring is appropriate? Because there's a lot of, like, uh, online right now, there's a lot of debates. Like, listen, he did get a lot of takedowns, but as you said, he didn't do much with them. So, I mean, you feel pretty confident that, hey, yes, he was on top of me a lot, but I, I, I was the one doing the real offense. Yes, sir, absolutely. And I believe he did even land one strike on the ground. And I, mean, I can go back and watch the video, but I don't remember him even hitting me one time even on the ground. So I felt confident about that. Very cool. I know you said you want to get back and work and improve things, but what do you see as the future for you now? I mean, are, are, are you wanting to stay busy now that you're a full-time fighter? Are you talking about, you know, fighting as frequently as possible? Do you want to take some time? And what do you see as the next move for you? You know what? I'm definitely going to go back and improve for sure. And I'm, I'm with the, the perfect team to do that, Team Alpha Mill, my coach, Uriah Faber. So I'm going to go back, improve my game, uh, make all the little things that I didn't do correctly or could have done better, make them like 10 times better. So I'm going to go do that and then uh, talk with my coaches and talk with the UFC about the next fight. We used to see you fight at 170, and now you know two fights in a row at 155. So what's what's been different for you to make that weight cut a little bit easier? Uh, you know what? Uh, going into 155, the last few pounds are pretty tough for me, but uh, I feel like I'm one of the the bigger, stronger 155ers, so that's good. And uh, I feel like 155 is more my weight class for now. And then in the future, when I grow three inches taller, if I do, and get get an extra few inches on my arm length and my leg length, like my brother, for instance, then uh, then I can fight back up at 170. Hello Fight fans, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe for even more interviews with your favorite UFC and Bellator fighters, including coverage from events with post-fight press conferences and open workout media scrums. And if you like this video, check out this other video to my right.